In this video, we'll take a couple of examples of uh, ACF and PACF uh, plots to understand how to, uh, you know, uh, how to detect the form of time series uh, process. Uh, and and we'll just, uh, you know, take a look at the uh, the different plots. Okay, so so far we have learned how to uh, you know the definitions of different time series processes like you know AR process, AMA process, and ARMA process. We also know what is the criteria, or what is uh, the behavior of ACF and uh, PACF functions uh, for different uh, time series processes. So, for example, in AR process, the ACF uh, function uh, follows a ge geometric decay, and it is uh, the PACF function is significant till only the P lags. Uh, the MA process, uh, in the MA process, the ACA function uh, is significant till uh, P lags, whereas it 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 is it follows uh, the PACA follow geometric decay uh, for MA process. So it's it's just opposite of AR. So MA process, uh, so ACF and PACF, you know, behaves uh, totally opposite to what you can see for MA process. Uh, sorry, AR process, right? In the ARMA process, both uh, ACF and PACA behave similarly, or they follow a geometric uh, decay. Um, okay, so using this information, using uh, the rules that we have, you know, um, we have tabulated here, we'll we'll try to uh, find out uh, which uh, you know time series process is. is uh, we'll just try to identify which time series process is. Uh, associated with the particular you know ACF and PACF plot so let's go to an example so let's look at this uh, graph we have got the PACF as well as the ACF the black one is the ACF and the and the white one is the uh, PACF so the black bar is the ACF function which which is significant over the first case and then it's all zero that means ACF uh, is significant only P lags and PACF is is geometric okay if you go back to previous slide and see which one of this is is meeting the criteria well the second one which is the msa that means this particular acf and pacf uh, plot belongs to um an ma series right uh, so one would also question why it is in the uh, in the negative uh, y-axis, right? You can see the ACF, both PACF and SCF are in the negative. So what does that mean? Well, that means the MA series looks something like this: y t is equal to uh, you know uh, minus of theta one, which is the coefficient, uh, u t minus one plus u t. Okay. That means the coefficient for the residual or the uh, error term is, is is negative, okay, and that's why the ACF and PACA both are uh, in the negative uh, y-axis. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, here uh, the black one, which represents the ACF, is significant for lag one. Uh, it's also significant for lag two. That means we have got one positive term and then uh, second one is the negative one. Right. So, uh, and w what is the form of the time series? In this case, also we have seen the ACF function is significant. So, ACF is significant till pth lag, and then the PACF is, you know, is following a geometric decay. Right. You can see a geometric decay. It's it's uh, going on forever till infinity uh, towards zero. Right. That means it's again uh, an MA series. Right. But it's MA2 series. Uh, in the previous graph, it was MA1 series. This is MA2 series because there are two uh, uh, SCF, uh, two, for two lakh, SCF is significant, right? It is significant here. The black one is quite significant here. The black one is also quite significant for the lag 2, right? So, how do we represent this, you know, uh, this uh, time series? So, an MA2 process can be represented like this. First one is positive because in the positive y axis, so you have you know psi one um, u t minus one plus uh, okay so this is minus okay this is uh, minus uh, psi phi two u t minus two plus you know u t okay so um, so this is so this is uh, you know the form of times uh, the form of m m process and uh, you know that's how you identify uh, whether it's a m a process or not. Okay, let's go to the next plot. Okay, so uh, 
in this case you can see the black uh, uh, you know the black bar is actually geometrically declining so ACF ACF is following a geometric uh, decay whereas PACF is significant only till uh, first lag that means pth lag right so PACF is uh, you know significant till uh, pth lag so if you go by the uh, the rules that we defined in the first slide it's a air process right it's a air process and in particular this is a uh, air one process because only first lag is significant that's why it's a air one process right and it's positive also so it can be written like this yt equal to uh, you know plus ut where this is positive because the y axis is positive you can see this y axis is positive had it been you know like this in the negative y axis it would have the sign of uh, pi 1 would have been negative all right so what is this one then okay you can identify that it's pretty similar to what we have seen in the previous slide the white bar is again uh, positive and uh, you know it's significant for the first lag and the uh, uh, you know the black bar is actually uh, decaying okay but how is it different from the previous uh, plot it's the same it's the air one process again is the air one process it's very clear from the graph right because you know the acf is significant in, in the first lag and the pacf is uh, having a geometric decay and it's very clear that it's a air one process right but how is it different from the previous one if you look at if you compare the previous graph okay this one and this one you see s you see similar uh, ACF, right? The ACF is 0 0.5 in this case. The ACF is also, you know, 0 0.9. So the the pretty uh, same or uh, nearby. But if you see the black, uh, you know, the black bars, which represents the um, ACF. Sorry, um, I got confused here. We are talking about the PACF here. Okay, this is PACF, and black bar is the ACF. Okay. Uh, so the ACF is uh, the slope of the acf is quite uh, quite flat right it's a flat decay right whereas here it is much steeper right so the rate of decay is high higher in this case the rate of decay is higher uh, in this in this process so the rate of decay will decide the uh, the value of the uh, you know the value of the um, the coefficients right uh, so coefficients are the uh, phi's so phi will tends to uh, uh, you know smaller it becomes smaller for example uh, in the previous uh, one it could be like y t equal to uh, minus uh, so let's say sorry it's positive 0.9 y t minus 1 and then plus some error term however is in this case it's y t is equal to 0 0.03 yt minus 1 plus yt so uh, notice one thing here here it is 0 0.9 so uh, the coefficient value is 0 0.09 in this case it's 0 0.03 right so where uh, the coefficient value is less there will be uh, the PACF value uh, will be uh, or the PACF graph will uh, de you know decay much faster like red here right so in this case the coefficient value is much less than what we have seen in the previous one right so that will determine what exactly is the value of the coefficient so smaller is the number because it's a fraction it's multiplied to uh, something so you know it decays more or it, it uh, brings down the effect of the lags uh, and brings down the effect of the lag on the time series all right now you have to answer this one what is this right no decay not at all it's not nothing is happening here uh, the uh, aca function is constant and the pacf is only uh, the first one right on the first one the pacf has a significant value and then it all becomes zero and then the acf is fully uh, is totally constant right this is a case of a non stationary time series okay you if you ever find uh, such a uh, you know aca pca plot you you will be sure that this is a non stationary time series data uh, okay so this is a typical case of a, a random work process while there is no decay as such right the phi takes a value of 1 okay 
this is the case y t equal to y t mi minus 1 plus u t so phi takes a value of uh, 1 in this case the coefficient should be um, less than 1 right for it to be uh, you know stationary um, per se uh, whereas in this case you will see uh, the ac value is not decaying at all um, uh, and and hence we conclude that this is a non stationary uh, time series all right so you can uh, subscribe to our channel for more videos